Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Cooking Horizon by Tess. Today I'll show you how to make oven roasted crispy chicken leg quarters. The recipe is quite simple and straightforward using very little oil. The chicken turns out extremely tender as well as rich in flavor while the skin becomes crisp. But before we get to the recipe, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. To begin with, you need 4 pieces of chicken leg quarters, skin on, washed and cleaned. I'm using fairly bigger pieces. Now pat dry using paper towels, one at a time. Leaving the skin on helps the meat stay moist and tender while in the oven. Now set them aside and preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, prepare the seasoning mix. In a small bowl, add 1.5 teaspoons of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning. This is the one that I used followed by one teaspoon of paprika, smoked kind is preferred. Mix them all together and set aside. Next, I'm going to extract that amount of fresh thyme leaves off the sprigs, which would yield into about half a teaspoon of finely chopped fresh thyme. You could use other forms of herbs instead, such as rosemary or oregano, depending on what flavor you like. You could also go up and down on the amount you add. If you use dried herbs, use lesser in amount as they are often more potent and concentrated compared to the fresh herbs. Stir the herbs in into the prepared seasoning mix and set aside. You need 1-2 to two tablespoons of melted salted butter. I'm using 2 tablespoons. Microwave for 20 seconds. Take it out and stir to melt any remaining lumps. Instead, you could also use olive oil or cooking oil. Place a large wire rack on top of a baking sheet. Now, grease either manually or by spraying cooking oil or olive oil. Now, place the chicken pieces on top of the wire rack, skin side down and spaced out. Brush melted butter over them. It's important to note that use of wire rack would ensure even cooking as it allows air to circulate all around. Then season with some ground sea salt. On the skin side, I'm not going to brush any butter as the skin already has a fair amount of fat layer attached to it that would keep the chicken moist as it cooks. Doing so also helps the chicken skin to become more crispy. Now season with fresh ground black pepper. Please be generous with all your seasonings for a rich flavor and a better taste. After that, season with the spice and herb mix that we set aside earlier. Just in case you don't have a wire rack, you may use a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and then grease it. Dab with your fingertips for even spreading. Now turn all the chicken pieces. Spacing them out is very important for the hot air circulation in the oven. Now season the skin side very very generously with the same salt and spices as we used for the other side. Please make sure that every part of the skin is covered with enough seasoning. After this, place them in the oven in the middle rack and bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 40 minutes or until the internal temperature of the chicken is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Before taking them out of the oven, use a meat thermometer at the thickest part of the thigh to check the temperature, taking care not to touch the bone. If the skin doesn't turn out crispy enough, broil for extra 2 minutes in the oven. Once the chicken is done and out of the oven, let it rest for about 5-10 to 10 minutes before you serve. However, please check the description box below for the list of ingredients and any necessary notes on the recipe. Before I say goodbye, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for instant notifications every time I upload a video, like, comment and share my videos. Thank you.